Boop. Hello. Boop. And well, shut up. Welcome to Yarshag. Hey, AJ, <laughs> sing the theme song. Yarshag, baby, Yarshag. I yeah. really hate it. <laughs> yes. You ask him to do it. He's got to do it. It's part of the show. I just hate that part of the show. <laughs> the beginning? I hate yeah. the beginning. You know which part I like the best? The part where I'm talking the most. So it's the end. Oh. My favorite part is when I'm in my vehicle driving home. <laughs> <laughs> The part where I don't have to see your guys' is ugly ass faces anymore. So do you guys like mythology? Uh, vaguely. Depends on what it is and like what, like, I used to watch the History Channel a lot and they would have like a special on the fucking Minotaur or some shit and I was like, oh, that was neat. Perseus? Yeah, Perseus. Yeah. Yeah. Percy Jackson. And how he had, never how his him. dad, the god, hid the uh, sword and cloak and was it sandals also under a rock? And then when he was old enough to move the rock, he could have his... And it was like a cloak made from the gods. And a sword. And sandals. The invisibility cloak. And then there was that chick with snakes for hair. Medusa? She's pretty cool. Is she? she? How'd she die? Was that Theseus or Perseus? Uh, That was... He had a mirror. Shield. Which was as bright as a mirror. Yeah, she saw her reflection and turned to stone. Right. Actually, wasn't that... Who was Person. the one that? Who was the one that stabbed the eye out of the uh, Cyclops? Odysseus. Was it? Uh, yes. Because he told. Cause <laughs> it sounds right. I think he's the one that killed Medusa. No, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure, it was Perseus. I thought it was too. Because I thought the, I thought it was like the same story. I can look it up real quick. Well, he had to go. There was like these three chicks and they shared eyes. He had oh, those are the de- crones. He had to go deal with them. Yeah. yeah I think he stole. There. Didn't he steal their eye to force them to tell him? That was something? Hercules. Didn't he also do that? No. Okay. I remember them from Hercules, though. I do too. <laughs> they only had one eye. Yeah, a bouncy had baby one eye. boy. Yeah. We know. I know. I know. I, know. I get you the know. concept. You gotta love. I'm fucking... spending all this time trying to kill this guy, and you're wearing his merchandise. Yeah. <laughs> it's <Thirsty>. pretty. <laughs> See, that's it's... my favorite scream in any movie. Yeah, it was ever. Perseus. It was Perseus? Who killed Medusa? Yeah, I thought so. I wasn't sure. Is that what they think she he, looks like? The, the three greys, the grey ones. He had to go see the grey sisters. They were guardians of the Gorgons. Mm, which yes. was a fate deal. The Gorgons. See, what's Great funny is... From uh, birth, the Gorgon smash. Dino, <laughs> Dino, and what is that a reference to? What did I just reference? No idea. No either. <laughs> no, what's funny is like they've been talking about doing the, the live-action Hercules movie and everything. There was a rock. No, I'm talking about like the, the Disney animated one, but live-action. That would be weird. But I was like, the problem is they're not going to have James Woods as Hades. Because... Gorgon smash is a type of gin... <laughs> but yeah, they they won't have James Woods as Hades as much as I would want that, because he's conservative and Disney's not really that at all. That sounds like somebody else's fault, not mine. Yeah, I will say. That. I think fans would put it aside. They'd be like, "Come on, he's good." Well, yeah, Perseus did have to go find the gray ones. Yeah, was Perseus the one that the one? Wanted... That's not the. The one I okay. Well, he had to. Was, go, I said he had to meet three sisters to t- get them to tell him something. Where Medusa was. Right. And the day when he decided he was going to challenge him, um, the king wanted to get rid of him because he didn't like him because he was too good looking, you know. And, yeah. And, and didn't the king have his mom? No. Who was the one that? Yeah. Who was the one that I said something about? Athena, I, I can shoot arrows through axes or something. But Athena and uh, Hermes. That's Odysseus. Ah. Uh, that's in the Odyssey. But, I thought. Um, I thought. He had Perseus' his mom, and that's why he was going to kill the Gorgon in the first place. He had to complete some challenge to get his mom back. Let's see. Or something. Jason and the Argonauts. No. I would have lost my job <laughs> after killing thousands of screaming... Uh, after killing off Jason and thousands of screaming Argonauts. Yeah. I'm not your friend, but actually I'm <laughs> I haven't your friend, listened to that song this whole week. I'm not your only friend, but actually I'm Actually, your friend. I'm Blue Canary and the and the outlet by the last switch. switch. Who watches over you? <laughs> I forget how not the song put, goes. Not, it's, <laughs> not to put too fine a point on it. Not 
tell me I'm the only bee in your bonnet. Put a little, little bird. So so he wanted to. I like this. The, the king was um, co- trying to get his mom. That's what I thought. Recording, but he didn't. She didn't like. Cap- he didn't capture her or anything. So how you he just used the excuse um, to go kill Medusa as a way to get rid of her son, so he could be with. And then he his... killed his Medusa and brought her head back. He's like, check this shit out, bro. And, and everybody died because they turned to stone. <laughs> yeah. No, do you know? What? He said, "I do. Doesn't, I like your mom." Doesn't she? Uh, it's like he can't look in her eyes, right? Or you just can't uh, look at her. You, you can't, can't look, look at her in general. You can't look. Snakes are looking at you. I think um, it's her. It's always like, been like you can't look anyway, in her eyes. Once you, once, once she's dead. She but Athena and Hermes, her name, right? yeah, in my, Athena and Hermes had a thing for him. Like they really liked him. Who? So the next morning, uh, Perseus. So the next morning, they met was him it, outside the gates. Perseus, with gifts. Was Perseus a demigod? Uh, wasn't, wasn't his father so. like Neptune or some shit? No, he, uh, the king of Argos. Perseus Jackson. <laughs> Chrysus, who was the king of Argos. What they? Uh, he wasn't a demigod. Did he become one? Is that what happened? Did he go from zero to hero? Zero to hero, <laughs> just, just like that. that. Fuck, I love Hercules so no, much. No, no, no. See, he 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 was been like miserable by uh, an oracle prophesized by. That his grandson would kill. Him. Oh, the right. So what he did was he sent his daughter, kept her daughter prisoned. Mm-hmm. So he is the demigod Zeus, fuck Dana. But anyway, um, Zeus defied, like broke her out. You know, since no man could keep him, Zeus took it as a challenge. Mm-hmm. So he he raped her. Nice. And then took her out, and uh, basically she got lost at sea. Mm-hmm. But um. Poseidon noticed that she was pregnant with a god, his brother, obviously, well, what do you call it, um, nephew. Okay. His brother. So, nephew. he sent a fisherman, the fisherman saved him, and then, uh, the fisherman took him to the king of the other kingdom, like, right next door, pretty much. Athens. Yeah, and then after he killed Medusa, Perseus actually goes and gets thrown mm-hmm. into the Minotaur. Okay. I want to clarify, when I said Athens, that was a joke. <laughs> I'm not that dumb. He threw him into Sparta. He threw him down the road? <laughs> anyway, okay, so, so you like mythology, right? He kicked him down a hole. This brings us back to my last topic. You like mythology. How does that go? Last Are you mad? No. What does he say? Are you mad? This is madness. This is madness. Madness, madness. madness no. you say? This is Sparta. No, he says madness. No, he says madness. As Sparta, yeah, and then kicks him. A kick slow mo, a slow motion hard kick. Yeah. yeah. So when we lived in, when I lived in Sparta, that's people what, do that all the time. <laughs> people just yell, "This is Sparta!" All the time. Hey man, um, where you at? Right now? Only in fights, Sparta. and they were like, you would know they were gonna try to kick. So it was funny to watch a fight because you know they kick. Watch kick. We are the Spartans. Yeah. That was like, a spoof movie. Yeah. No. It was not good. Most of those weren't. Me and my sister went and there saw was a disaster. Big, yeah, there was, was a awful. big craze of them where there was one after the other after the, the other. They, they were all trying to... The year of the vampires, the year of the werewolves, the year of the disaster. Well, the, so, well, the problem was everybody was trying to cash also, in to be like Scary Movie, which... And Scary, scary movie, movie stopped being good yeah, by the time that happened. Yeah, the third movie, like literally one through three are good. And then after that, you're just kind of like, why? No, one and two are good. The rest are trash. Yeah, I'm three's not a good. Fan of three. Well, like, what, which one's three? Three's the one that's got Charlie Sheen. Oh no, I like three. Wait, is that the one with the tripod? That's one they, where they the make fun of. They make no, fun that's of Eight Mile. Four. Three's the one where they make fun of Eight Mile, where uh, he he throws they make the, fun of the ring. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, like those aliens, and aliens who pee out of their fingers science. and they yeah. shove their fingers yeah. in people's mouths. Because yeah, there's the part, there's the part where the the guy who's like Charlie Sheen's nephew is like supposed to be Eminem. Yeah. And he throws his hood up and it looks like a KKK hood, and everybody's like. It was just like really like uh. The other one that was kind of, it was another spoof movie, but it's older. It was like, I know what you did last Halloween or something. Oh, uh, I know what you're talking the, about. The actual movie that it's making fun of. About not another teen movie. movie. That's the that was like one of uh, Heath Ledger's first breakouts. It was a really good movie. I don't remember it. I think that was where he says, Jan, uh, Jan, he's got a gun. And yeah. everybody's like, Jan's got a gun! <laughs> they start running. <laughs> Her dad is on the run. 
Yeah, I remember when I first heard that song, I was like, who sings that? And I learned later it was Aerosmith. I was like, what? Yeah, so, um, you know when Janie was at work, you know, at Euro Zoo? With who? Janie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when she got fired. <laughs> Every time I saw John, I'd be like, Janie's got a gun. <laughs> He's like, man, that's not funny. I'm like, I know, she doesn't like you. <laughs> you better run. Uh, anyway. So mythology, you guys like it a little bit? Sure. I mean... That was literally the only thing back in school that I even went to the library for. All right, so even if I a lot of Egyptian this. and like Greek. Oh, here's what it is. God it's, damn you! I found. Fuck it. you! It's no called, one cares. Go to hell. Say another word. I'll keep talking. It's called uh, shriek. Uh, if you uh, know what I did last Friday the thirteenth. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's what it was called. So it was like scream. It, scream. Uh, if you, I, I know what you did last summer. Friday the 13th. Did it have Freddy? Yeah, it, it made fun of a bunch of them. It came out... Uh, this is Scream, if you know what I did. It came last out Friday in the 13th 2000. On Elm Street. You know, one of my favorite... It came out 2000, exactly. Uh, you know, what's your favorite horror movie? How about that? I don't have one because I'm done. Freddy vs. Jason. Okay. Just because of the concept, mainly. The concept? Yeah. A family? No. I mean, concept of, the concept of two friggin' uh, superhero powerhouses fighting together. I know you didn't just say superhero. Oh, yes, I did. Because <laughs> they are not superheroes. Oh, shit. What? Scary Movie came out in 2002. I wonder which one came out first. What do you mean? Wait, for real? I thought Scary Movie... So the Wait. first Scary Movie came out in 2000, and Shriek, if you know what I did last Friday the 13th, also came out in 2000. So maybe they were done by the same people. I don't know. Maybe the Wayans Brothers, because they're the ones that did it. Take my strong hand. Yeah. It just it's says 2000, strong. though. I want, like, a... Give me your other hand. A day? That's not... Yeah, like that. a, Take the day. It, okay. Oh, July 2000. Was when Scary Movie came out? Yes. And Shriek? It's looking. It's gonna be October. Probably. February. Oh, February 2001. Alright, so... It says 2000. I'm getting two different numbers here. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so it came out, like, a year. Or a couple months later. Six after. months later. Yeah. Eight months, really. So they were probably both in production at the same time. Probably. Yeah. But, what's another stupid movie that they made that was sort of just a clash of movies? Probably the original for uh, Nightmare on Elm Street is probably my favorite horror movie. Hmm. Well, I don't first... like a lot of horror movies because a lot of time I think they're dumb. And I prefer like the slasher, like bloody slasher ones just because they're more interesting. I guess Halloween's pretty good. What about Paranormal Activity? Those are stupid. It's a great camera. It's really not. Fine. What about um, Blair Witch Project? Okay, you know movies like Clo- you know movies like Cloverfield. How it was like done with a camera. Oh, found footage. Though. Wow. How a movie was shot with a camera. No, you know what I mean. That's like, amazing. You know what I mean, though. I remember back when they used to use MP3 players to record movies. And chisels. I remember this one thing I used to have that had like. They a used to roll. have to hold. 40 or 24 cameras in a row, and a horse had to run by it, and you had to snap them all simultaneously. That's actually how the first movie ever was filmed. They wanted to see if a horse, when it was running, mm-hmm. if, all, if there was ever a point where all its legs came off the ground. So they set up a track of 24 cameras, and they had a horse run by it, and they just snapped them all really quick, and then like played them back to back. Oh, made like a, a They did it really fast, and it a flip book. Yeah, and it was basically like a flip book, and that was considered the very first movie ever. And We're that is fun. why movies are filmed at 24 frames per second, because the original one had 24 cameras. I don't know if that's true. That's what my teacher told me. College? I'd say it was until a certain point, <laughs> and then they came up with a new thing. Well, that's because every everybody had to press it at the same time, and within that one second right. frame. Mm-hmm. Anyway, ow. It, okay, you know how Cloverfield was filmed. Yes, uh, found footage movie. Yeah. What'd you say? Found, found footage. footage. It's found footage. Oh my god, style. you're both talking at the same goddamn time. Both said the same thing. Yeah, but it's overlapping. Found footage. There you go. What's your favorite found footage movie? Probably Cloverfield. No, Cannibal Apocalypse. I've never seen Cloverfield, so. Chronicle. I've seen Chronicle. I've never seen that. It's really good. But you know what? I watched a movie that has that guy in it. Yeah, it's called Spider Man. No, the other one. What other guy? No, it's Michael B. The Jordan. other movie. Michael B. Jordan's in there? No. He's in Chronicle? It's not. Talking about the dude from Chronicle, he's in a different movie. And I forget, it's something of the thousand planets. 
Yeah, Valerian. Yeah, that movie sucked. It was alright. It was not. It was bad. But he's also bad in Spider Man. Uh, Green Goblin. Have you seen Spider Man yet? Yeah. I'll be on. Green Goblin. Green Goblin. Green Goblin, whatever. I, I've never seen the second Amazing Spider-Man. It's not good. It's all right. Yeah. It's not all right. It's not good. You watched it. It was all right. If you, what? If you stop it midpoint and you're like, I'm never watching this again, it's a terrible movie. If you watch it all the way through, it was an all right movie. No. That no. is not how that works. Critics do, critics do it. They would have to watch the whole thing. That's, I'm not a critic, but that's not how that works. You criticize everything. You're a critic. Okay. I'm not professional. I don't get paid for it. You probably should. I agree. (laughs) Paid in dick slaps. Either way. (laughs) I'm getting something. (laughs) You're getting slapped across the face with a dick. I want 36 mushroom stamps. Pour my review of Spider-Man Homecoming. Let's do it. It was good. I loved it. What, Spider-Man Homecoming? Yeah. What was your favorite part? The whole movie. You know my favorite part was Spider-Man Homecoming. I think I like the part where he catches the elevator and he's like, "Hey, what's up? How are you doing?" Oh, uh, Spider-Man here. <laughs> where he puts on that voice oh, and yeah. he recognizes him. I think you know my, what? I think my favorite part is when these uh, shorts are a little uh, tight in the web shooter. Or like when he's climbing up the DC monument. Yeah. And he's like, oh, Washington man, Monument. Really high. <laughs> yeah. I think my favorite part is when uh, Michael Keaton's character, Vulture, learns that it's that he's Spider-Man. He goes, I gotta give him the dad talk. And then he pulls out a gun. And it's like, yeah. He's like, dude, it's probably one of the best that moments. That whole movie is really good. Yeah, the second one's really good, too. I'll watch and it then, someday. And then you got the end scene where he meets Scorpion in jail. Because if I knew him, he'd be dead already. Redemption. Like, yeah. Kind of. But I do like how the vulture, like, he's just some dude who got fucked over. Yeah. And he's just trying to make some money. He's not trying to, like, he's trying to take, take over family. the world or anything like that. He's just like, I'm selling And it's funny, you've ever seen. Look, money. here's my thing. If you've ever seen. Just take care of my family. Like, say, 10 years from now, and you're, you got a kid, right? And you're letting your kid watch Spider Man, and they want to watch Spider Man Far From Home. I mean, they want to watch Homecoming first, and they immediately go to reach for uh, Far From Home, you know, to watch the second one. Literally got to beat the shit out of them and tell them they have to watch it in order. Because if not, they just miss everything. What? The whole plot. You, you do. You miss like a whole gap. Of what? Between Spider-Man uh, I see what and Spider-Man saying, and Because Marvel. of because of Endgame and everything too. Everything that's going on because you won't know what blips are. You won't know about Tony. Mm. Okay, sure. No, I mean it's 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 not a movie. It's not By a that logic, you can't let him watch the first Spider-Man because they won't know who Iron Man is, and he's in that movie. You gotta watch all the Marvel movies in order, you little shit. Yeah. yeah. So sit down. I'm gonna make some popcorn, and we're gonna do it. We're Except not we're watching not, this. We're because we're... I hate half of them. Yeah, we're not watching the second one of Iron Man, and we're not watching Hulk. We're not See, watching I Iron mean... Man two or three or uh, Thor two, one no, or two, no, and we're not two. gonna watch. We're not going to watch fucking Captain America 1. It's all right, but it's not worth it. Captain America 2 is way better. Yeah, but you need to know who Bucky is. Do you, though? Yeah. See, I didn't mind Cap- uh, Captain America. I didn't mind Iron Man 2. I don't like Iron Man 3 at all. I hate them both. Like, I... Well, now they can't I do the Mandarin. the first Iron Man. <laughs> the Mandarin brings them but back to life. But they can't. What? They can do the Mandarin. They actually retconned it, too. Because there's like a weird... Like a deleted scene or something like that Where that was on real YouTube. Mandarin, yeah, it was like basically sends in like hitmen to kill the guy who was imitating him. Yeah, they can still do the Mandarin. Okay. And I was like, I'm for that. Like, right. I like the guy who was it's, who it's was just, the fake one because he's funny. You can't just jump in and say, Hey, I want to start watching Thor, then Thor two, then you Thor three. Can though? You can, you but you're gonna miss. Can. But if you're actually paying attention, you're gonna miss so much shit. Yeah, but here's the thing: it doesn't matter. Like at all, it does. It though. really doesn't. It does though. It really doesn't. Why did you just try to stick your hat in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I just all of a sudden it's like ah. So I was gonna do this. 
<laughs> like, I get that, like, oh, there's this huge cinematic universe, and yeah. you gotta watch from all the movies, and it's like... But, I mean, if you, you want... You really don't. But if you want to watch Captain Marvel, just throw yourself in there, you know, fuck them. Captain Marvel, actually, is one of the... It's like probably the only one where you can just watch. No, nope, you can't like, watch the second one if it comes out because she's an in game. Well, I guess she could because I mean she's really not an in game. She's like an in game in like three scenes, and that's pretty much it. Ant Man, huh? You can watch Ant Man without watching it. Yeah, any a lot of a lot of the side ones you can watch. On Actually, you can't watch the f- you can watch the first one, but you have to know why he's on house arrest and why he got his right. Powers I just said Ant Man. I didn't say Ant Man and Wasp. But again. It really doesn't matter that much. Well, you gotta know why. When Iron Man three starts, you gotta know why. He has PTSD. He has PTSD. You don't though. Yeah. Okay. Like I get that all these stories are interlaced and combined in a way, but they it doesn't fucking matter. Well, the thing is, it to, really doesn't. It does to people. Well, the thing here's the it thing. It doesn't matter what matters to when other that people. Scene, well, the thing is, when that scene pops up where Tony's like having the dream or you know the PTSD throwback of yeah. him being in space, most people, if they haven't seen it, they're gonna be like, "Oh, what's that?" And then they look it up and learn that it's from the Avengers. They're and usually my, gonna go get the Avengers. My brother. No, but here's my, my thing. My dad. You just watch the Avengers movies without knowing who anybody is because they basically introduce everybody in Avengers. My dad does not watch a lot of superhero movies, mm. and he randomly watched uh, X Men Origins Wolverine while he was at the bar, right? Well, and he that's, came home. That's definitely a bar movie. He came home and he's like, "What do you think of that movie?" And I was like, "Oh, it's shit. I hate it. I hate every moment of it." And he's like, "I really liked it." <laughs> now, that's why it doesn't. That's when matter. you sit him down and make him watch all the Deadpool movies. But that's why it doesn't. You want to know why? You want to know what's right? wrong with this movie? It watch matters Deadpool. to you because you're superhero nerd because you like pop culture shit and whatever's popular you like. What? And then there's people who don't care. Like me. You just <laughs> care about anime and hentai. I really don't though. Because if that's all I cared about, same. I would watch <laughs> and Persona. I would watch all anime that comes out and I definitely am not gonna do that. It's too much. Not only is it too much, no, it's, it's not I all good. give a shit about half of it. I don't give a shit about more than half of it. <laughs> like, there's 10%. Every time a new season comes out, there's like three shows. I'm like, those seem neat. <laughs> and then, like, I'll pick three or whatever, and those are the three I'm gonna watch, no matter what anybody says about them, you know? Like, even if they have a fucking four by the time they're over, I'm gonna watch it. I sat down and watched King's Game, and I was like, man, no wonder it has a four. Basically. <laughs> Because I wanted to watch King's Game because I had read the books before mm. it came but out. But when I say it's all right, you get all mad. Because it sucks. But you see, it's just like it's a why it's does a it Dio. Because it's shit, and you're shit for liking it. Dio. <laughs> <laughs> My anyway. uh, is that? That's that's how everybody is in the world now. Your opinion's either right or it's wrong, and no. mostly it's wrong. My opinion is right, and everyone else is wrong, even when they're agreeing with me. That's a narcissistic <laughs> point of view right there. It's also contradictive. It's more narcissistic because it's you. People are wrong even when they agree with what I'm saying. Yeah, but you That's know, contradictive. I don't give a fuck. Anyway. Your perspective <laughs> is flawed. There's like three anime that I'll pick, and those are the three I'm going to watch, no matter what anybody says about them. And then I see what everybody else is talking about. Like they say is good or whatever. And I'll check those out. Like everybody was like, Re Zero is fucking amazing. I hated it. <laughs> I didn't even finish it. I hated Rim it and that Ram? much. I love Rem and Ram. They're awesome. Rem, Rem, Ram, Beatrice, love you had to, The TV you had to show like itself, him not you had to like You had to like it, him dying all the time. I didn't though. Did it make you feel better? No. You were so annoyed. Well, that's like, no. Well, that's like with Sekiro. You like Koo, but... Right. That's bad. Like I love Tree Girl. I like Star, Star, uh, Star Wars. No, not Moose Um Purple haired bitch. Yeah. Boma. Oh, Drunk uh. Drunk lady. Uh huh. Drunk lady. Oh, uh, Kazuhana. Yeah, I liked her too. Win- the wind and chick. Obviously, Windy. my favorite character. Boma. The red Seki, right? <laughs> oh yeah. And her muscly ass thighs. My favorite was part. My favorite part <laughs> was gray. <laughs> that thigh gap. <laughs> my favorite part was gray. Yeah, you love beating uh, women, don't you? Anyway. <laughs> no, him getting his ass beat uh, for beating women. Yeah. God. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? 
Man, I, I was getting assumed, irritated just watching that. I just assumed you liked to hit women. That's fucked up. You know, maybe, that kind of vibe. maybe. It's more fucked up. <laughs> well, maybe they <laughs> asked Nick to hit him for them for him to hit them. <laughs> They're like, hit me, and, and he's, he's like, he's, sorry, I'm not hitting, hitting women when they want me to. And then I was like, and, <laughs> and, and she's like, I'm, why? And I smack her. Because! <laughs> it's fucked up. And, she, and all of a sudden she calls you daddy and you're like, wait a minute. No, <laughs> no, no, don't no, go there. That's you have it. those issues? No. So I thought it was something else. It's like, you guys kidding me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I, I, I don't mean, like you. I don't when like, you can be a guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't like you calling me daddy. Can you call me grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> or she's like, use this feeding tube. I hope the mic picked that up. <laughs> I did too. Or she was like, use this feeding tube. I'm out. <laughs> Like, ah, or ah. <laughs> I want eh uh, in the ah. Uh. Oh. Have you seen, that reminds me. I'm going to two, seen, I'm a two girl with one cup. Have you, have you seen that, uh, cups. have you seen that movie that John Cena was in last year, I think it was, where his, uh, if it wasn't Bone Blockers? If it wasn't Bone yeah. then no. That was the only movie I've April. seen of him. Did it come out in April? This year? I thought it came out last year. I don't know. It was, it was in April. It was in it's, April. But, uh, there was a scene where uh, they go to like a party or something like that and they want him to chug and he's like alright and they pull out the tube he goes alright here we go and they go alright pull your pants down and do that he goes well he goes we're butt chugging nice. and then all of a sudden he like coughs or something like that and blows it back in this guy's face he's like ah ah <laughs> I was like that's the funniest part in that whole thing my sister's like it's awful it's an awful movie I was like that part's funny that's good comedy that is pretty funny Oh, this song is called Gal.exe Slow Jam. Oh, Gal.exe is probably the person who made this song. Yeah, it is. And the song is called Slow Jam in the Virtual World. I like the name, Gal.exe. That's a good one. Yeah, my first girlfriend. Gal. <laughs> Actually, the, you don't pronounce the X. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Gal. <laughs> Gal.e. <laughs> Gal.e. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> He's got the hiccups. Right out of the street a while back. Yeah. It's really funny when somebody miss like they say Hunter X Hunter. I'm like, you know, you don't pronounce the X, right? Well, it's funny is like I made someone watch that today. It's funny because uh, he's like he came back yesterday. Well, I made him watch it Friday, and he came in today. He's like, man, I watched six episodes. I'm like, where are they at? He's like, they're right at the gate for a phase two. I'm like, you liking it? He's like, it's pretty dope. <laughs> but, uh, that's I'm like, like that's simultaneous. Like, well, that's like, I'm like simultaneously upset that it took me so long to watch it because I really like it. But I was waiting for the dub because it's so fucking long. Mm. And it took like three fucking years for that dub to finish. But like, when you talk about like the X and everything, mm-hmm. I always did it like in, kiss, in, kiss, in, in, you know, kiss, high, high school D. High kiss, school. United the S. But X. like stuff like that, like, you know, Kiss X's, you know, stuff like, I would say the X in that, but Rosario Vampire, I never said the X in. Yeah. Which is really weird thinking about it, because I'm like, I never said that. It's cross, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. It's supposed because I know that that's what they, whenever they do like the Smash Brothers, uh, tra- like trailers for new characters, they'll say Smash Brothers, this, and it's cross. Everybody almost says cross. Oh, yeah, and then there was like Tekken Cross Street Fighter or whatever. Yeah. Just an X. And the other, <laughs> the other version of that never got made. It's true. Which is what? what? It was going to be Street Fighter Cross uh, Tekken. It was going to be in the Street Fighter. Yeah, so look. like, so like Tekken Cross Street Fighter is all the te- Street Fighter characters fight like Tekken character like the same way, and then it was going to be the opposite. It was going to be like the Street Fighter engine with all the Tekken characters in it. Yeah, and I don't remember why it didn't happen. Because I, I think don't it was think the... Tekken Cross Street Fighter sold. Probably not. But but you can get a, a panda wearing Chun Li's outfit. What's not to love? And then you can get Chun Li wearing a panda suit. I just assumed they killed a panda and skinned it. She's wearing it. It's the Who same knows? Panda. It's, it's the yeah, same panda. That panda. She <laughs> killed that panda. It's the same panda. And then when they showed it, it's all skin. Videos? Huh? Have you seen panda videos where they like get in a panda suit and they go and like lay with the pandas? No, I've seen a, I've seen a like a there's like a mom panda and had a baby panda and the baby panda sneezes and like scares the shit out of the mom. <laughs> yeah. Count me gold. <clears throat> Animals are funny. Uh, you ever seen those videos where they put like a cucumber no. behind a cat? Oh yeah, and, and they, they jump, jump like twenty feet. We did that. To, we did that to my cat. You know and why, it, right? They think it's a snake. Yeah, because it's a uh, fucking yeah, water. No, uh, survival instinct. Yeah, they my smell a specific it. snake. 
Yeah. My cat never did it. We did it to her like three different Thought times. And she always turned around and looked at her like, what the heck is this thing? And then just walked away. Maybe because she was domestic. My, uh, one of my cats keeps bringing like frogs and like tiny field mice and shit into the house. He wants a reward, damn it. Give him a she... fucking... <laughs> Your cat wants a reward. Give it a goddamn reward. He gets the reward of me saying, get that thing the fuck out of here. She ate it. it. She ate it. She ate every bit Massa of it. Massa de don't Wait, let them eat frogs because they'll get sick and die. She brought a frog in the house like two days ago and I had to carry it back outside. Blech. Was it going ribbit? No, I think it was dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I set it up. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure I set it out in the grass and it died three minutes later. Probably. God damn. I remember one time when I was a kid, I took a BB gun and I shot a frog in the back and everything. That's fucked up. I know, I felt really bad after I did it. I was like, oh my god, what I do? 453.8 billion. Gotcha. What? He's playing some stupid game on his phone. Oh. I was like, end game's already hit that now? <laughs> oh, man. Ooh. That's really I don't want to do that. Huh? <laughs> oh, it didn't work. I remember one time I did it and my whole left arm went numb. I used to... Seek a medical help. I do a thing where I crack my neck one way and go, ah, my neck. And then I crack it the other and go, ah, my other neck. <laughs> yeah. You know I do it because you've heard me do it. Yeah. I wonder where I got it from. You ever you ever realize that you do something and you're like, where the fuck did I get that? Like, I had to have picked it up somewhere. I had to have heard somebody say it at some what? point. There what? had to have been some 90s show that I watched. Huh? Say what? Whenever you I say... I what you're doing. When you say something and you wonder where you got that from, because you're sure that you didn't come up with it on your own. I don't know. Like, like crisscross applesauce? No, not like that. But like, I remember there was a point in time where I was, I just called everybody a fuck. I was like, you fucks, right? And just constantly, I was like, you fucking fuck ass, fuck. Holes. You fucking fuck. And fucking I was like, fuck fucker. Where did I pick that up from? You know? TV. And then, no. Your parents would be you like, can't say fuck on TV. You can't. You can when it bleeps out. And you're not saying fuck. You can't if you're watching you any saying, single yeah. Samuel L. Jackson movie. Okay, anyway. I got it. I, was, I started watching an Achievement Hunter video, and Michael came on, and he's like, Gavin, you fuck! And I was like, oh, that's probably where I got it. <laughs> now it makes sense. Most most of the stuff that I say, I have no idea where I got it. And then I, I know it's not for my dad. I 100% legit have no idea where I came up with you uh, cunt-sucking the fuck nugget. <laughs> I have no idea where I came up with that. <laughs> I know where I came up with cunt sucker because I came up with that on my own. Because I remember, like, I wanted to stop saying cocksucker. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, so I was like, cunt sucker. It's so sexist. It's, it's weird to say cunt sucker because you don't really suck on a cunt. It doesn't make any sense. You can suck on a clit, but you can't suck on a cunt. <laughs> like, that's not a thing. <laughs> that'd be very, that would be so, like a. That'd be like, you're a like very hollow sucking. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> and then she just. And you're like, ah, oh, God! <laughs> No, you'd be like, it's like, hey, babe, want to see a magic trick? Ah! Yeah, she shoots a fetus at you. Yeah. Oh, God. Anyway. God. So, I started saying cunt sucker. And then I, I guess McFucknugget just rhymed with it. I guess where, that's where that came from. I only say it to people when I'm driving. And they, like, cut me off. I always, I always remember. I've never said that in my life. I had I always remember a lot of the stuff that I watched, like, on Animaniacs or something like that. Like, there's no, one fingerprints. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Fingerprints. He looks at him and he smiles at him. And he goes, I don't think yeah, so. Like so. I still like that because it makes it makes you look at it and it's like, how did they get away with that? Because that. Because it's a double entendre. I mean, he, back then, for some reason, censors were like super like tight about things. Like Batman, they weren't really allowed to like shoot guns, but they drew guns. I mean, you know, they took them out. Everybody just pointing at everybody. Yeah. It's like, free! Well, that's like that episode of Pokemon where they're in the uh, Safari Zone. That episode got removed completely, and there yeah. was no shooting. There, there was, was a gun. There was an episode. Uh, I Don't think it was, steal. I think it was Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, where they're like, stop, or we'll shoot you with our invisible guns. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, no, you stop, or I'll shoot you with my very visible gun. And they're like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I always thought that was 
it was weird. There's an episode where Bandit Keith like jumps up and, and he lands Pegasus. next to Pegasus, and he just pointed at him. And I always thought it was so fucking weird, <laughs> yeah. even when I was a kid. And then when I learned that they were taking out guns, I'm like, he had a fucking gun to his head. That's awesome. I well, love Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, what's funny is I remember I remember that episode, and then I remember when they did like I love they did reruns and stuff like that, and it went back to it. They actually took that scene out even when he was like jumped up there, and I was like. I, I remember that being there and it's just gone. love the Yu-Gi-Oh manga. I love it so much. I love the part where he spray paints this like fucking thing on the ground and throws a lighter on oh, it. I thought it said Mr. Long. Oh, I, was oh, thinking oh, shit. I thought that said Mr. There's Long. There's fucking fire Mr. here. Mr. Hong. I was going to say Long Man. No, you got to say Long twice. Yeah. Long, Long Man. Right. You say Long. Long, Long Man. Yeah, <laughs> which you can find Long at your neighborhood boy. safe a lot. Which is mine. Yeah. <laughs> it's a variation of uh, another... Uh, okay, so that's a thing that, like, I decided to take that tone, oh, saying boys. the word long boy, but that tone is I got from somebody else, because they would say ham boys. <laughs> Ham-boney. And that's probably where they got it from. Yeah. So they probably got the ham boning, and from there they went with ham boys, and I changed that to long boy. <laughs> so that's that's how that adventure went. See, I never realized, like, I liked I liked regular show when it came out and everything, but I went back and watched it recently. And I was like, I didn't realize how good this show really is. You know, like I used to watch it off and on back when I used to watch TV mm. and I never I never really got into it but I never not liked it yeah I always liked uh, the fat guy who was like my mom yeah muscle man yeah. Yeah. you know who likes yeah. it you know who else likes to do this my yeah. mom yeah and I was like <laughs> you no know, it's supposed to be your mom he goes what like, your <laughs> mom is fat and it's like you know who's, who's your mom he's like you making fun of my mama yeah anyway I never, but I never like sat down and actually watched it. And I remember I was over here one time, and Nick was like watching the f- series finale where Pops was like fighting some evil space Pops, and I was like, "What the fuck happened to this and show?" It, and then he dies. This is weird. Yeah, and then it, like has a future thing, and I was like, "What the fuck happened to regular show? What did I miss?" They wanted to go out with the bang, and, and they it, did. Like, Tanya, Tanya really liked Adventure Time, mm. and like Adventure Time was a show I never got into. And she even told me, like, the first season is basically, like, shit. And people like it for stuff that happens afterwards. I don't really remember the first season anyway. Right. She's like, the first season's a lot of one-off episodes that don't have, like, a plot, like, a continuous plot going through them. Yeah. And stuff. And, like, people don't, people don't really talk about those ones when they're talking about, like, the best episodes of the show or why they like it so much. Yeah. But that, like, when I started watching Adventure Time, like, to try it out when it was coming out, that's what I saw, and I went, eh, this isn't really for me. And then it just fucking blew up, and I went, why do you guys like that show? It's bad, you know? Because I don't like it. And then they're like, no, you gotta watch there's it, a lot it's of, good, blah, blah, yeah, blah. There's I'm a lot of dark like, imagery, like, later episodes. And I'm just like, I don't want to watch, like, a 24 episodes of a show for it to get good. Yeah. I want it to be... Like Good. the final two seasons, I don't like at all, and I even tried to watch them, and I'm like, and then the ending is just really. Tanya weird loves to, me. to ship uh, the vampire chick and Princess Bubblegum. Yeah, they end up together at the end. Yeah, that's what she loves about it. Uh, to me, it came out of nowhere. I was like, I don't. They which, which part? Yeah, it, it. which part? When Bubblegum Bubble and, and uh, Marcel- Marceline get together. Well, they were just doing that for people. I was yeah. going to say that. People think that that was probably... Wow, this song is called February 25th, 2018. I wonder when this song came out. <laughs> I wonder when he decided to make this song. I wonder when it finished. But yeah, like, my, mom, my mom liked some of the episodes of Adventure Time, and then I told her about the end, and she was like, I remember but why? I said, I don't know. I remember watching... Like, because they would rerun Adventure Time, mm. and I, I'd try to watch it every now and again. I I remember watching that episode with the fourth dimensional bubble, like, six fucking times. <laughs> and it was, it was like, every time I was like, oh, Adventure Time's on, maybe I'll give it a try again. It was always that fucking episode. 
That was always when they were rerunning whenever I decided I would watch it. I was like, fucking hate this show. I remember when they did, uh, they did an episode. And it's actually like, like a two-parter. It shows like a different version of Finn. And oh, he's, he's like a miss- chick? No, he's like, he's like missing, I know, I know what you're talking about. I've seen like, the one where he's a chick and like Jake is a dog. He's or a cat. cat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, in this, Fiona, it's like an yeah, alternate, uh, yeah. Fiona and Kate. Are, is that like an alternate dimension, or do it's they like, exist it's in actually, the same world? No, it's a meet? it's a fan it's a fan thing that Ice King did, if I remember right. Oh, I was like, what would it be cool but, um, if they met? I think they actually do that. In oh my episode. god, I don't remember. No, damn it. And one of the strips that I saw on online. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, oh. but um, I read. No, there's there's one where uh, Finn, Finn and Jake are in like a different, like Jake Jake's just a dog, like he's not a magical dog or anything right. like that. But like Finn, the episode of Family Guy where they go into his real life and Peter's just a dog. Yeah. Or Peter, right? Just, yeah, oh, and Stewie's just a baby. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, where they're universe jumping with Like, the this version of Finn... Like, Finn misses, is missing an arm in later episodes, but in this one is actually, like, a claw. Oh, like fucking Aquaman? And, like, he, uh... No, not, not a hook. Just, like, oh. a, like a claw, like okay. a little thing like this where it's, like, a like pinch of, Yeah. Like you get the clamps! Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Uh, Marceline's like an old, like super ancient woman, and he ends up Finn ends up getting uh, the vampire chick. Oh, but uh, Finn gets the Ice King's uh, crown and everything, uh-huh. and starts turning into the Ice King and goes like insane. And then uh, Jake falls into this stuff, and he ends up turning into the Lich King, who's like the okay, yeah, one of the bad guys. Ron Perlman actually does his voice, which I thought was really cool. But he's like this really, I don't have my phone so I can't look it up, but uh, he's like this really creepy thing who's very, apparently been around for freaking ever. But. I was going to say the other big shows that are. Kid oh, car- it's a big show. Kid yeah. cartoons that are popular with adults. Uh, Gravity Falls was one of them. I never saw that. I never watched. really dark one. I never watched that one either, but my brother did. My brother watched it with his girlfriend. Like, I heard it's good. And they liked it. And then the other one was Steven Universe, which I also never watched. These are both ones that came out when I was done. Yeah. You know? And, like, they got popular with people our age, but I was already kind of out of it. I was like, I don't care. I'm not going to watch TV. And Tanya loves Steven Universe. Yeah. Fucking stab somebody if they said Steven Universe was bad. Steven Universe fucking sucks. I'm not gonna stab you. She's like, no, she stabbed me. What? What? That makes no goddamn sense. She'll stab you for a second. Yeah. No. Like, here's the thing. I like, saw... I'll play that audio clip for her. She's like, you're friends with those fucking people? Yeah. I saw the first season Ow. of Steven Universe. Ew. And I was like, yeah, this isn't this isn't bad. And like, and then I started, seeing, I started seeing people being like, oh, there's so many sexual overtones. I'm like, I rewatched it again. I was like, what are they talking about? That's another one of the ones where they like to, they like to ship stuff. But, uh, the gems is yeah. what they're talking about. Yeah, because two of them, or one of them is made up of two. Yeah, they they were, I was watching this video called, like, This is Basically Steven Universe, and they're like, it turns out that the coolest gem is actually two lesbians in an overcoat trying to get into a nightclub or something. <laughs> That's funny. It's a good way of saying it. But, but uh, uh, yeah. It's, just, it's another one of those, like, woke TV yeah. shows that are popular with our age demographic. And, like, I'm not woke. I like sleep. <laughs> but the thing is, but the thing is this, like, with anime, I like people will call you a hypocrite and everything for that. Like in anime, I always find it hilarious because you get that one crazy character who's gay, but they're not really important. Like in uh, uh, Baka and Test, you got the lesbian chick, and then you got the one uh, dude with the glasses. That uh, can you pick a show that I've seen? I thought you've seen Baka and Test. Not all the way through. Uh, I'm trying to think of another one. Cause there, there's a few of them. They always try to make it like comedy relief and everything, just like yeah. a funny moment. Like there's not anything really serious. But like I look at American cartoons and stuff like that, I'm like, they take this way too seriously. I was like, honestly. Well, because gay people aren't a joke, AJ. God damn it, man! What the fuck's your goddamn problem? I don't want kids watching this. That's what. They don't need to know about that stuff yet. Tanya was telling me about Sherlock and how like it queer baited. By making you think that Sherlock and Watson were gonna end up as a gay couple together mm-hmm. in some because they like in like Sherlock the show yeah like with Cumberbatch and yes okay and she's telling me about how they queer bait and she was showing me all this evidence of like 
how they hinted at a romantic relationship behind the scenes and then like apparently there are interviews with some of the creators where they're like we're not just making gay jokes you know there's meaning behind this stuff and like one of the writers is like an actual gay dude who's like on the show but then in the end they ended up not doing that and they kind of just went ha ah, you believe that and she was mad about it oh. and um <laughs> Was she a little butt hurt? Well, I mean, her and like half of the people on fucking Tumblr. But, uh. Oh, fuck Tumblr, man. Well, that's where she likes to go. Or at least she used to. She says she doesn't use it anymore. Whatever. But whatever. Um, she tells you that so you won't make fun of her. It's like, I use Tumblr. I use Tumblr too, pulls out a cup. <laughs> so she bought me a fucking. Uh, yeah, she bought me a Tumblr with, with uh. The Yeti one? Or, or, oh, no. You, I don't know. With, uh. Black Butler on it. Mm. It's got uh, Sebastian and the red haired guy. The Grim Reaper dude. Mm. I forget his name. The one who wants to make out with Sebastian. Like, I've never seen the show. But He's I gay! Know. Oh, but really? I know There's a part where Seal's like, if you help, I'll let you make out with Sebastian or something. He's like, really? And he goes and does all this stuff. And he's like, time for my reward. And he like jumps at Sebastian. He just ducks out of the way and just smacks him to a tree. <laughs> he's like, fuck this shit. I'm right. Oh, I know another character. Well, kind of. You remember uh, in the uh, Love Tyrant show, the sister that has like the blonde hair or something like that? You know what I'm talking about? You know the chick that's the psycho. It's like her. Pink haired one. Yeah, it's like her little sister or something like that. She has blonde hair and green eyes. She also part of the harem. Yeah, she's she does like she has like a shield power. Like okay. she can throw. Yeah, she can throw yeah, up a yeah, shield. Yeah, I like, think I know who you're talking. Like about. she's she's I'm like. Pull up a picture to. Her name is Yuzu. I'm just gonna pull up Love Tyrant and look at everybody's face. Just make sure. Oh, you're not, shut up. Just make sure you're not pulling up the other Love Tyrant. I want to look at both of them. <laughs> All right, you don't get to tell me. And when see, I, I remember, can't look at gay porn. See, I remember when I was trying to look up the manga and everything. I even typed in like the original Japanese name, and it's only Japanese. I'm like, why? Oh, the, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, she's gay. She wants to be with her sister. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she ends up falling for him anyway. Yeah. Because I think it's like actually, she's willing to go both ways. Yeah, because harem. Yeah. What's that one um, where they it's like 12 assassins and they have to either kill this one bitch or save her? And there's like riddle, riddle devil, yeah. devil, I know what you're talking about. R- riddle. Yeah. Document a riddle. I really like that show. Tanya loves that show. Because it's about lesbians. Yeah, I was going to say it's also about lesbians. See, I think that's one of the reasons I can't get into stuff nowadays because most of it feels forced. It's like <laughs> that's called rape, AJ. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I heard surprise because <laughs> nobody yeah, saw Ak- it coming. Akame no Riddle or Riddle Story of Devil is the name of that book. Um, it's actually not bad. I liked it. Yeah, I liked it too. Uh, Tanya said the manga is way different. Mm, I can believe that. Um, I like the scissors and the Well, at least the scissors. Oh yeah. She- there was this one chick she had like a fucking saw blades or something and she blocked a bullet with her I'm like bullshit <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly how that would go <laughs> he just dies I think yeah uh, Tanya had wanted me to watch it for a while and I finally was like I'll watch it this weekend and uh, I started watching it and then she texted me because uh, Stardew Valley had just implemented the co-op feature and she wanted to play with me so she sent me like a picture of the screen with the co-op thing and I looked at it and it didn't even register in my brain that it didn't have co-op like I saw the co-op square and just like didn't even think about it oh so I just sent her uh, like a sh- video of me watching Akamino Riddle and I went to the part with the bullet hitting the saw blade and we going bullshit <laughs> and I sent that to her and she's like oh you're busy okay <laughs> <laughs> that was great and then later I was like, oh, fuck, I didn't realize you wanted me to play. I could have watched that whenever. I would have played with you. And it was too late. She's like, oh, no, 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 no. What? She's like, oh, you're, no, you were busy. I wanted you to watch that. Like, you wanted me to watch five other things. I chose this one first. Uh, I don't know what I was going to say. 
where I was going to say? Yeah. We turned this into a pretty good podcast. We went, Sorry. From, we went from mythology to whatever we're talking about now. Uh, good transition. Lesbians. Yeah. Lesbians. That was that was something I always laugh at. Uh, there's an whoa, interview. Whoa, there's whoa. an interview. You at, can't uh, just say it like that. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're we're gonna rewind that. Lesbians. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> something you want to laugh about now? Yeah, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> there was an interview with uh, Chris Sabat like back in 2008 or 2007 at one of the conventions and everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, somebody had asked him like what one of his favorite characters was outside of DBZ. And he said, uh, I like playing the narrator for uh, Shinchan. You know what I'm talking about? Where it's like, it's like a really almost terribly drawn cartoon. It was on Adult Swim for a while. It's the little kid who like shoves his butt out all the time. Yeah. yeah. He said, I played the narrator. And he said, and one of my favorite lines in the show was something had happened. And he goes, and all of a sudden I'm like, lesbians. And it was just like a really dramatic sound. <laughs> I was like, that's a the really narrator. great way to say that. Well, in uh, in Ghost Stories, one of the very first episodes, is she like picks up uh, like a photo, and she's like, "Why do vice principals always look like lesbians?" <laughs> Mom. <laughs> <laughs> See, I want to know what the story was behind the dub for that, because you the know the show was if I can tell you, it failed in the states, and the company that licensed it when they or it failed in Japan, and the people Japan and like when got licensed basically said you can do whatever you want with it as long as you don't change any of the names hmm. and they're like okay <laughs> so they basically and they just went fucking nuts so they basically abridged they, it they without took, it being abridged yeah, yeah they, they took a very mediocre show that was not popular and just like how can we make this as funny as possible yeah I'm like I'm sure they just got in the booth and just set shit. Yeah. Like, they probably didn't write any scripts out. It was probably all ad-libbed. That's hilarious, too, to think about. Because like, you, you know ever, that most anime anime voice actors like ad-libbing stuff. Yeah, they ad-lib, and, like, you ever watch the blooper reels for some of them? Yeah. Like, some of them are fucking the, hilarious. The one for Neguma is hilarious. Because the guy that plays, the, you know, the English voice actor, he's also the voice of uh, the main character of... Uh, Heaven's Lost Property. Mm. He's that guy. And, uh, there's one part where he goes, he goes, Asuna, didn't you mean to suck on my nipples? Like, he couldn't think of what he was supposed to say after that. And it was just like saying stuff. I was like, this is great. I've never heard B-roll from the anime. Yeah, I love anime blooper reels. They need to release more of them more often. I was actually, uh, I'm a big fan of the Sword Art Online blooper reels because those are really funny. And then I learned that uh, they make some of them on purpose. Yeah. Like, the guy who does the voice of Kirito will write something out for the chick who plays Asuna to say. Because <laughs> it will be funny. That does sound like it would be funny. Finally. Because, like, she says she's not as dirty as he is. Like, they were doing an interview or something. She's like, I'm not as dirty as he is. And, like, I can't come up with these jokes. And so sometimes he just writes them down and hands them to me. <laughs> And then I just say them. He's like, shit, I, I had no idea what a Polish breakfast was before I said that joke, and I looked it up. <laughs> and she's like, nah, and I'm like, I can't believe I said that. <laughs> I can't believe you made me say that. She see, didn't make her say anything. See, I, well, he wrote it down on a paper, and she read it without knowing what it was. See, I, I've seen people do interviews with like certain voice actors and stuff, and you got some of them where they're like, I want to be perfectionist and not mm-hmm. do that. And... Was it Eric Vale? It was somebody was talking to him, and Eric Vale's trunks. Well, know? I just feel and like they asked him. They said voice oh. acting and just acting in general. Like if it's not like I don't know, like that seems like a a job that's fun enough to just like screw around with. If yeah. you're not doing like a fucking dramatic reenactment of the life of Abraham Lincoln, you yeah. know what I mean? Like you shouldn't like be Abraham Lincoln and go, oh, where are all the white women at? Yeah. <laughs> Like, that'd be weird. Yeah, because... No. Because, like, uh... Here's what I was saying on that, though, but, uh... This was before... I wish I would have said Martin Luther King Jr. instead. Instead uh, of Abraham Lincoln. But before before Battle of Gods came out and everything, somebody had asked him, they said, is there any B-roll from you guys, you know, doing, like, the original show and everything like that? And he goes, there was a ton of it. He said, but because of 
what it cost to record an episode back then. He said it all basically just got destroyed. He said, which sucks. He said because there's a lot of hilarious parts. I was watching an interview with somebody recently. I don't remember who it was, but they were talking about how uh, whenever they like mess up a line, they like when they kind of mess up, they mess it up on purpose so they have to redo it. Yeah. So like they'll be like, ha, they'll be like, and then I will have that 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 that. Let's do that one again. <laughs> or they'll or they'll try and change it into something funny. It's like. So, like, because uh, they'll take lines that you aren't exactly happy with the way they came out. You, like, kind of flubbed it, but not really. And you're like, I want to redo it. And they're like, no, that was fine. So he, like, fucks him up on purpose. So he has to redo it. Yeah, and see, like, I've, I've seen interviews with a lot of the DBZ cast. And they, they always get asked the question, you know, what do you think of a bridge? And all of them, except for Sean Schemmel, will say... They love it. They think it's hilarious. You know, one of the funniest things they've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Sean Schimmel won't say it because he's like, well, I don't work for them. You know, I'm, I'm my own Goku. I'm not that Goku. It's like, that's not the point. The point is, like, do you find it funny? Yeah, like, every time there's a, uh, like, an interview with, like, a actual voice actor that there's, like, an abridged version of that's popular, yeah. they always get asked, do you like it? And a lot of times we're like, yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah. Because, like, Chris Sabat, uh... Like, the guy who does the voice of Kirito, when they ask him if he likes uh, Sword Art Online to Bridge, he's like, it was fucking hilarious. Yeah. I love how they turned me into a giant asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I, for- I forgot what abridged episode it was, but, uh, Chris Sabat was asked, uh, what he thought of the guy who does Vegeta for Bridge. He goes, Honestly, he said, I wish I could say a bunch of the lines that he says. He said, because it's... it's Lanny really Vitor, who does Vegeta in the abridged version, does Piccolo and, like, Yancha and Master Roshi. Which is hilarious. He does so many of them. But then, like, the guy, uh... We're playing the song again. Um... It's Luke, probably. The little Kuribo, the guy who does uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged, he does all the voices himself, except for, like, a few rare occasions. Hmm. Like, when we were watching that darts thing earlier, the only person that he wasn't was darts. <laughs> he was everybody else. That's funny. He does all the That's female great. voices. <laughs> That's great work, though, if you think about that, too. Yeah. The fact that you're willing to put he's in all a, of he's that. He's just a funny, chubby British man. Yeah. And you know what? He's also done some professional work. He was in a movie. Well, it's like most of the guys from Team Four Star have actually been in yeah, Super. Name a cat. Let's see if I can name one. Yeah, and then he's uh, the only reason I watched the ambition of Oda Nova, Naga, or whatever the fuck it's called. The one where he's a chick. Yeah. Was because Lanny Pator and uh, Rooster Teeth. What? What? I was just throwing stuff out. Well, I, I was gonna say the real names, and then I was like. I, I said Lanny Vitor and I'm like that's not his real name that's his username his real name is Nick Landis mm. Lanny Vitor and then Kaiser Neko Scott something I think I think his name is Scott he's uh, he's a, anyway the only reason I watched that show was because they were in the English dub of it and I wanted to hear them doing professional work I remember the very first time I ever heard Lanny Bator in like a real show he was like a background character in uh, Assassination Classroom huh. it was just like some dude who worked at the hotel that they were at in the first season and he's like was that an octopus and that was like his only line <laughs> and I was like I was like, hey that was fucking what's his name well, see, I, wish I we, didn't even know he was in it until I watched it I wish we could do stuff like that but if you think about most of the time when they do like you know oh, a bridge been. stuff most of the time when they do a bridge stuff, they this have... This is a different one. They have more professional... You know what I mean? They have more like a professional setup. Like, yeah. They're not using this to right. record those yeah. voices. Team Four Star has a fucking sound booth in their office. I watched yeah. them put it together. Because I was like, that'd be something really awesome. I fucking love Team Four Star. I watch a bunch of their... Com- like, I watch all their bridge stuff, but then I want- they have a gaming channel that I, I watch sometimes... They used to do shorts. One of my favorite shorts they ever did was, uh, it was like, they were in Australia or something for like a con or something, and they shot a little video called, uh, uh, Moments with Team Four Star, 
and like they're sitting there and they're all like in a hotel room watching TV and they're like huh Australia has a lot of the same TV shows that we have in America it's like guys what are we doing here sitting we're in Australia man we can't just be sitting here wasting our time watching on TV let's go to the beach and they're like yeah and they all get all off in the beach and they get to the they beach they all get off on the beach shut up and the beach is like completely empty and they're all just standing there and it's real fucking windy and Takahata one just goes it's fucking cold <laughs> <laughs> there's another one where Taka's on the roof and they're like Taka get off the roof and he's like no you're so, not my dad <laughs> it's like Taka get off the roof no it's like uh, gonna kick you in the shit or something he's like no I'm definitely not gonna get down and like Lanny walks up he's like What's going on? He's like, Taco won't get off the roof. Did you threaten his shins? Of course I did. <laughs> Taco, get off the roof. And they're like, no. And he's like, we have pie. And then they're all sitting at the table. And uh, they're like, yeah, let's dig in. He's like, where's the vanilla ice cream? And they went, uh, Taco, get off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, funny stuff. Uh, I think my other favorite one. I have a lot of favorite ones. Uh... The, uh, they're they're playing Cards Against Humanity together in like a hotel room, mm. and it's the three main guys. And uh, suddenly, they're uh, one of the other members, Masako X, busts in. He's like, "Guys, guys, I killed a hooker!" <laughs> right? And they're like, <sighs> and it show it's like this whole like forty second montage of them dead face serious, you know, driving out, going to bury the hooker, and all this stuff. And then they're all back in the uh, the hotel room and they're all playing cards against humanity against each other and the black card is like what's buried in the backyard and one of them's like Loki the trickster god something else a dead hooker <laughs> 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 and then Mosco just starts crying and talking like what too soon <laughs> <laughs> that's funny funny guy I, watched, I, I watched... wish they would make those again but they don't. I watched a video. Uh, they live. They have a live stream like every Friday or something. Mm -hmm. So they're called Team Four Star. Guess what their uh, like Twitch channel is called? TFS. No. Uh. Stream Four Star. Ah, <laughs> I see what they did there. And then you can watch any of the live streams that they do on their. The do. Yeah. On oh, that they do. That they do. That, that, that they do. Stream Four Star Archive. It's all the. It's all archived on YouTube. Every live stream they've ever done. Hmm. Their nuzlocks are really fun to watch. I've seen the last thing I saw on a stream they did. I think it got taken down by YouTube, and they're trying to get it put back up. But it was whenever E3 was going on, and they were showing a lot of the new Nintendo stuff, and they were watching, you know, giving like a reaction to that. Hmm. And I was like, I like stuff like that just to get, like, just to see what other people think. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a big fan of watching when I'm like when I'm watching YouTube. I'm a big fan of watching groups of people doing stuff. Like the kind of like anal sex. Like uh, yes. <laughs> you talking about like where they make like the uh, compilation or whatever, where it's like all the people relax. Like the the video is in the middle, but like on the sides and above it is like different people reacting to things. No. What are you talking about? No, like, like Team Four Star. It's a group of people oh. making stuff together. Uh, okay, yeah. I, know. Team, I really like, like this group. Or like Blind Wave. And, Blind Wave is a group. Yeah. Of, Blind Wave is probably... It's like the only reaction channel I watch. So it's weird to say that they're my favorite reaction channel. But like, I started watching them and like it kind of inspired me to be like, we should do something like that. And that's why we do this now. Um, and yet we're complete failures at it. Yeah, well... I mean, you're I not going to take off right off the bat. I mean, I watch them, like, almost every day. Like, there's a lot of shows they watch where I'm like, yeah, I don't care. Like, I don't give a shit when they're watching, like, Chuck, or when they're watching Dexter, or Walking Dead, or, or Doctor Who. Yo, I like Dexter. No, I watch Dexter. <laughs> Dexter's great. Whatever. No, I don't give a shit about De it. De but, like, they were just doing, uh, Ruby, and they've done all of Dragon Ball Z Abridged. And they they, deep them all. they they uh, they just started Hunter Hunter. They're on like episode twenty three. I'm watching that every Saturday. I watched one this morning. Uh, last week they or they just finished up Mob Psycho and they're jumping into Mob Psycho two. And I was like, fuck, I haven't watched Mob Psycho two yet. <laughs> uh, they're doing all of Doctor Who. 
I basically watch them their video every like Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and sometimes Sunday. <laughs> Cause but they put out because that's all they do. Yeah, I bet they put out. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> that's all they do. So they put out like three videos a day. Mm. But because they can, and they have editors that they hire. Yeah. Oh, and they have a game night where they play board games, and sometimes I watch that depending we on what game we're playing. We should definitely do that. We, we need could a be- do that. We need a better way to do that, though. We, we have a, way- a better way now. Well, I mean, we need more of a like if we're gonna do it on the table. You we want need multi camera. Oh no, not even that. Like that to me, multi camera would be a little bit further down the road. Like when we have a bigger okay, kind of well, setup. What, what are you saying? A way to kind of crane a camera over, you know, over the table and everything. Mm-hmm. But I don't know how you do that. Well, like, because the, they got all the fancy equipment. You yeah. Know, they got multi camera, they got switchers and all that shit. So they can switch on the fly while they're actually playing. Yeah. I'm like, give me that shit. Well, I started to say, uh, I started to say, well, that Elgato sale, there's going to be a switch, but even it's if a streaming we, deck. Let's even switch. if we uh, multi cammed it, right? We had one there and then one dangling above it. And we just somebody would have to manually cut in between the two and then yeah. editing it, which would be me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It all depends on what we were playing too, because yeah. sometimes you don't need it. Like when we were playing Cards Against Humanity, you don't need to see us. No. Uh, but you don't even need to see the cards because you can't fucking read yeah. them anyway. So, but like, like something like Catan. Catan, you need to be able to. You need to see the board, but yeah. you also need to be able to see us when I go. You fucking asshole. Or something. So. Yeah. Yeah, it that's needs just, a multicam setup. We don't have the stuff to do. Yeah. And that's like, that's like too like. But like it's I just go throwing, back, it's throwing ideas. I go back and I watch one of like their older ones back when they were like in a spare bedroom and they were playing. They had like one camera, and they were playing like uh, catchphrase, the Star Wars edition. <laughs> Which play Pictionary? Or they play. No. They played another game, but a lot of the games they play too require more than three people. We have three people. They have more yeah. people than we do. What about Catan? What? We should, so we should play about. Catan. Well, we can't. I don't like Catan that much, but <laughs> we can. <clears throat> I haven't seen What should we play? You guys let us know. Yeah, people who aren't watching this because we're like an hour and a half in at this point. Are we? No, so. we're like... That two, first video we watched was an hour, hour long, long, and it ended and went to a different one. So we're at least an hour. What time is it? 10.38. Dang. I think it might be like an hour and a half. We're getting there. <sighs> yeah, yeah. We're getting there. They have, uh, they played another game that I watched that was really fucking funny. They were playing a game called, uh, Spy me or spy out or something like that, where basically, me out. huh? <laughs> they basically uh, like they had like six people playing, or no, they had five, and uh, everybody gets a card with a location on it, mm. and then one person has a card that says spy, and the spy has to try and determine where they are, while everybody else has to determine who doesn't know where. And they, so, so like, it's a social deduction game. It looked like a lot of fun, but you need a couple of people to play it. See, one th- one game I wish we could... Do. I wish we could play Betray on the ha- Haunted House at the Hill, or whatever the fuck it's called, but we need, like, fucking six people to play that shit. I mean, I have the fucking game at my house right now. Yeah. But we can't play it. Yeah, we don't know a lot of people. We, we don't have, have a lot of We friends. need more friends. <laughs> yeah. We need John to come over. We need friends. We need John to come back. Up. Yeah, I wish I wish Jeremy could come over, but he's like super busy lately. Yeah, he likes to say racist stuff. All the time. <laughs> so does John. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's fine though. Yeah. But uh, no, I wish we could play stuff like uh, I wish we could play stuff like Jackbox. Like, yeah. I think that'd be a good game. Do an Elgato capture with uh, Jackbox. Yeah, yeah. If if we ever have a group of people over here and they don't mind being on camera. Picture and then need to come back. Yeah. Well, it's like I said, too. Like, when we first made our channel, one of the reasons I even said, like, in our stuff, you know, it's just, it's three of us, but every now and then we might have somebody. 
I love One day we'll get a yeah. friend. One day we'll have somebody. <laughs> One day we'll have a friend. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I, I, did, I did that for the reason of, you know, it doesn't have to just be us. Right, I never had a problem with bringing in guests. Like, I don't want to bring in a guest on a reaction of yeah. a series that we're like halfway through. Yeah. And a lot of the times, because we're we're always behind on our fucking reactions, because we never get them done fast enough. Uh, that's all we really film anymore. Yeah, and I mean, if somebody wants to be a part of a reaction, it's one of those things like, it's like you said, like it can't be in the middle of something. It, it has, has to, to be, be like, here for every single one. And or it needs to be something short enough that we can get it done in a yeah. day. Like, like if somebody wanted, yeah, if somebody wanted to, or Mad Wolf, if somebody yeah. wanted to, if we could have got John, Nick invited John over, and that's I brought Mad Bull with me on that day. So if he did show up, we could do Mad Bull. Yeah, and we ended up watching. We it. did Mad Bull without him because he didn't come, and we finished Sekirei. But I figured if he did come, we just wouldn't do Sekirei, and we'd do Mad Bull instead. Yeah. We ended up doing both anyway. But that's not the point. Yeah. I just, I, there, would, there would be no reason for him to jump in on episode 10 of Sekirei season 2 when he had no idea what the fuck anything was happening. I already, I already know what he would say, too. He'd be like, oh, you brought me here to see titties. Okay. But there aren't even any titties in the last two episodes. I know. But he's just seen the bouncing. Yeah. Actually, there's a little bit of, like, when, before he lays down over and everything, there's some stuff there that... That's about it. It's all edited around and out and locked. He's not going to watch Mad Bull was a pain. I would say. I like, it was your idea. I <laughs> Which made it worse. I ended up cutting out a lot of the like sex scenes, but I like turned up the audio. <laughs> so you just hear us <laughs> laughing, and you hear people going, Oh, Smokey! Ah, oh, Smokey! Sleepy! Oh. <laughs> Don't stop sleepy. It's not, it's we're not, just sitting there going. <laughs> it's not sleepy. It's sleepy. It's pretty funny. <laughs> funny stuff. And then like I had to bleep a couple things. Oh, that's that idea. Yeah. And like I didn't have like a bleep sound effect, so I used a train <laughs> horn. See, I thought. Like, oh, you can kiss my ass and call it ice cream. You limp dick. <laughs> See, I thought that. Uh, I actually thought that Audacity had those sound effects, uh, had those sound effects in there, but I don't no, really it's know where to look. It's basically just a recording. It's an open source recording software that anybody can use for free, and it does a great job. Professional people use it. I've seen it. But I've always tried a lot of to... other people like to use uh, Adobe Audacity, not Audacity, mm -hmm. Adobe Audition. Yeah. Uh, I used to use that back before. Where I don't have access to it anymore. Because with Adobe stuff, it's like a fee. Now it's it? a subscription fee. Yeah. It used to be you could just buy it and have it forever. Yeah, kind of like with Sony Vegas and right. editing software. Because, like, I had Premiere. When I was in school, uh, I had Premiere. And this was before the Creative Cloud stuff. Like, we had Premiere in school. And, like, I had a stolen copy of Premiere at my house. Like that. And I was like, I don't need to buy a copy of Premiere. I, I have I have a copy of it, and eventually they ended up figuring out the crack that I had then d didn't work anymore, and I couldn't use it. Mm -hmm. And I was and then all I had was the Creative Cloud. You couldn't buy the standalone version anymore. I was like, fuck, I gotta find a new way to steal. It. Yeah. And but it kind of makes me wish that back when I was in college, I had just bought Premiere CS6. And then I would just own it forever. And, like, I could just pop the disc into a new computer and install it again if I needed to. Yeah. But now, if anything ever happens with the copy that I have, I'm going to have to find a whole other way to get it again. It's fucking annoying. Yeah. What's funny it's is, like, like, stop trying to stop me from stealing things from you, damn it. <laughs> I don't want to pay. I don't support your capitalism. I don't support your capitalistic nonsense. Just give me things for free. See, I, I was talking, uh, whenever I was at Game Exchange today and everything, they made a joke about capitalism. I said, the thing is, I said, it's not capitalism that's evil. I said, it's the branding. They're like, what do you mean? I said, think about it. You go and buy a computer online. I said, you're not paying for what's in the computer. You're paying for the name. They're like, 
Yeah, they're like they kind of make sense because when you, if you go to Walmart and buy a computer, it's garbage. I was like, yeah. What the problem is? Problem with capitalism, communism, socialism, blah blah blah. They all have all ism. Them. Nobody likes ism. Okay, whatever. Problem with all of them is that they should all work on paper, mm-hmm. but then people get involved and everything gets screwed. It's greed. P- yeah, literally, it. everybody's yeah. selfish. <laughs> Yeah, there's no. And that's why nothing works. There's no selfless people in the world, except for some reason Trump it's decided to work for a dollar. People, it's the selfless people that aren't the ones put in charge. Exactly. Because they're not the kind of people that want to be in charge of stuff. Yeah. I'm, the only per the only people who want to be in charge are people who want to be in a better position that they are in from yeah. where they are. People who are selfless and don't care about like their position in life as long as they're like medi- not, I was going to say mediocrely but moderately successful they're never going to go want to be in charge of anything because they don't want to that's not what they want to do and which I, is why I don't want to be in charge of anything yeah. not because I'm selfless but because I'm lazy yeah lazily selfless well, it's like I told my dad I said I don't have a problem with somebody like in a position of the government or something like that you know making like decent come home like you know at least six figure like a hundred thousand two hundred thousand a year mm-hmm. but when you're making more than the president basically it's like when something's not right when you're uh, listening to companies and changing laws to make it so they can make more money so they can throw more money your way rather than helping the people who put you in the position of power in the first place that's fucked up mm. but that's how government works now and like it's expensive Expected. Yeah. That's the big issue. The, the issue with, like, our country is, like, you hear about something happen, you're just like, well, yeah, what do you expect? That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> like, when something happens, we should be like, what the fuck? Yeah. This is your garbage human. Like, I remember when, uh, when that dude in the, ju- there was a game that came out in Japan called Judgment. The, one of the actors got caught with, like, cocaine or something one of the actors in the game and they put out an update completely removing him from the game and replacing him like they brought in somebody new re capped the entire scene where digitally replaced him from the game and took him out because that's how big of a deal cocaine and stuff is over in Japan mm. here in America if we heard an actor did cocaine we'd be like well, yeah, yeah they're well, actors that's what they do one of the actors from Stranger Things uh, get caught in cocaine or in a different country they do shit that's what I'm saying. Like, we hear about this stuff and we're like, because I remember when I heard that story, I went, yeah, but is it going to delay the game in the States? I don't give a fuck, fuck that about this dude doing drugs. He can do all the goddamn drugs he wants. I want my goddamn video game. Yeah. It's my own. It's like, it's our own fault. Police know we does. We did it to ourselves. And I was like, what does that say about me, Tanya? Is it, <laughs> is it me or is it like where I grew up? Like, should I be upset at him, or should I be upset at them? You know, like, what does it say my... about me that I'm more upset that they're doing something about him doing something that's making it worse for me? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, like, well, when you think about it, too, here, if it's a famous person or somebody in politics, the person in politics kind of gets hit a little bit harder right. than a famous person, but right. almost Everybody all the time, the if it's somebody... Sheen. Sheen. Yeah. Sheen. Charlie the Machine. Everybody knows that Charlie Sheen did cokes and drugs and all this stuff He's while he was blood. working on Two and a Half Men, and nobody cared. Nope. <laughs> Until he went Fuck. fucking crazy. Yeah. Well, I mean, and then they cared. And the thing is, too, like, you always see, like, you know, so and so was busted for this and everything. They'll only be spending, like, an hour in jail. And then even that doesn't happen. Yeah. And it's like, freaking really? Or, like, you hear about some guy who got caught with, like, a prostitute, and then, like, no, people, like a mayor or something. Like, you're supposed to be like, you're like, and then, like, you go to the people, like, interviewing people on the streets, and they're like, well, I mean, if he wants to get some puss on the side, let him do it. I don't give a fuck. It's just like, not affecting any of us. Right. But it's like, we're supposed to care. We're supposed to hold these people accountable. You think for I give things. a fuck? Well, it's like, like, if I did it, they wouldn't, like, I would be getting in trouble and nobody would give a shit about the fact that I was getting in trouble but because he did it and everybody's like oh I can't believe they're doing that to him he just wanted some pussy and it's just like double standard much yeah that's what there's people there's some actors 
like I don't even think they're really important. Some of them I don't even know. I don't even know who they are. I, I saw their picture. And I'm just like, I don't know who this guy is. Yeah, I but do. they're like I, that happens to me they, a lot. But they're like campaigning to get things like uh, prostitution legalized all through uh, America. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of them, for whatever reason, want uh, pedophilia like acknowledged and legalized. I'm like, yeah, I don't know about that one. I was like, what is going on? I don't know what's going on in our country anymore. Everybody well, like, just okay. wants to do everything. With, with the prostitution thing, right? Kind of like drugs. If you stop it from being a crime and you put regulations around it and make it like a real business that's safer, it will save lives. It will help increase, like, generate money. And it will just be a better system in general. Mm. Kind of like how when they legalize drugs, it's like like pot. And it's like, now there's less pot-related crimes. There's more money coming in. The cops have less to deal with. You know, stuff like that. Like, it's beneficial in a way. See, but I... we have such a taboo around the idea of, like, sex workers. But part of that taboo is because it's a crime. You know what I mean? Yeah, but see, like... I have a hard time believing that just because it's legal, that the problems that were originally with it, you know, when it was illegal, just kind of disappearing over time. Because you got people who, you know, well, if I can't afford it, I'll just take it. You know what I mean? Just like. Right, but that would happen either way. Yeah. But if it's, if it's, it's like, if it's, uh, like, problem with, like, prostitutes being, like, raped or whatever, is, like, they can't go to the police because they're also criminals or like they don't want to go to the police but if they're in a legal place of business and something like that happened first of all it'd be less likely to happen because like it'd be like a brothel like all these people are there yeah you know and you could just like hit like like be bouncers and like you you could have like a panic button under your dresser or some shit yeah like a bank but (laughs) yeah (laughs) somebody's in here so it'd be less likely to happen it would be safer because you'd have to Assumably, give some sort of insurance, you know, to your <laughs> to your employees or whatever. Wouldn't it be hilarious to hear that in your insurance office? Yeah, I need to get some prostitution insurance, and everybody's like, "What? Can you speak up? Prostitution insurance? <laughs> ah! Insurance? We're all tired here, all right? Yeah, You're just playing a game on your fucking phone, not contributing to the conversation. No, I'm until say you you're hear bullshit. us flub something and go, "Ah, you're an idiot." And obviously, I'm paying attention. I'm not paying enough attention to actually fucking. Matter. The other thing is too, like, you don't I, I would, like, if you notice, you don't hear anything about like gun control and stuff like that anymore. No, like, you don't hear as much as like the past five years where well, it was kind of a constant. We haven't thing. had a tragedy recently, like a big one. Like, like what's the last one we had? The Sandy Hook school shooting. Was it Sandy Hook? I, I thought so. it was the church shooting in San Antonio. Oh, maybe. But uh, like well, we haven't had one of those in a while. That was like a really big. Yeah, like another Oops. Columbine. Uh, they're all big deals, Brad. The fuck's your problem? But uh, that's mm. like, like I, I, I mean, yes and no. Like you always see people saying stuff online, like you know they need to take away all the guns and everything. It's like something that you don't understand though is this: you're gonna take away the guns from the people who are actually gonna use them responsibly. The people who break the law all the time don't care if the guns get taken away. Right. They're gonna have but, whatever they have. Well, part of that is uh, like, well, the cops will just shoot them. It's like. They don't care. Part of that is most of the people who get shot in situations like that are the kind, like, they're criminals who just, like, I don't want to explain. They're not, like, lifetime criminals. They're, like, spur of the moment, I'm going to go do this. So, like, if you took away guns from them, then the only people people who would really have guns are, like, the mob and stuff. And then it would be, like, places, like, in, like, Japan or like the UK where guns are super illegal. Yeah. And like those kind of, the those kind of criminals who they don't normally just go around shooting random people in the street. You know? Yeah. And then I don't know. But like, like you look at a place like the UK made knives illegal, didn't they? Like even butter knives or something no. like that. Something like yeah, something like that happened recently. But it was like, like you look at the number of like gun deaths in Japan where guns are like super illegal or whatever and it's like one or two a year and you look at the United States and it's like a couple thousand it's funny because like most of the people who have been killed aren't even what people think like the highest I think is like suicide 
and then you have uh, and people. And Japan's who, got a huge suicide problem. Yeah, like it's suicide by gunshot, followed by self defense, followed by I forgot what that one is. But then the last one is actually like somebody like breaking into your house and killing you. But like the part of the problem is this got really political all of a sudden. Uh, part of the problem is like there are people who want to take away the guns. There are people who want more gun control, and there are people who want like more restrictions and stuff, right? Yeah. But like, there are people on the other side who like even if you mention the slightest hint of maybe putting a new law in place that might make it a little bit harder for Joe Schmo to go get a gun. They're like, oh my god, you're taking away our rights and destroying America and your pieces of shit and I hate you and blah, 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 blah. Like, they're like, oh, what if we add a rule that you gotta be 21, you know, or something like that? And they're just like, yeah, well, now it's 21 and then next week it's 30 and next week it's 50 and next week it's 100 and it's a fucking slippery slope, man. You had one rule, you gotta add them all and fucking, you're gonna legalize a toaster next? What the fuck's wrong with you? And they're just like, what are you talking about? Josh Potter must. It, That's like, it was like when uh, when gay marriage first came legal. They're like, well, "What's next? You're gonna let me marry my dog?" It's like, what is wrong with people? That's legal. In <laughs> no, it's like, do you want to marry your dog? I don't know. It's just like yeah, it's legal everybody in has like this slippery slope idea. It's like, well, if we do this, then we gotta do this. It's like, no, we don't. No one said you had to well, like, broke. That's like people uh, having discussions about the First Amendment, you know, freedom of speech and stuff like that, because. And this is more true than I think any of them because it's one of those things where you got people defining certain things as hate speech. And if some of those things get put, then next thing you know, something that had been said, you know, how, you know what I mean? Like, where we make fun of that scene in uh, Mad Bull 34 with the you yes. know, offensive accents. That's considered hate speech nowadays. Well, if you go to something else that's hate speech, if, the, if, a, yeah. If the government was allowed to actually make regulations on stuff like that, the next thing that wasn't offensive before but is offensive now would end up being put in that, and eventually speech would be regulated so badly. Right. And that's more of a slippery slope than a gun thing. Right. But then there's also, like... I think a lot of it has to do... Like, like the difference between bullying and a joke is an... Is the intent behind it? Yeah, and that's right. And, that's, and if you like, look if at you're, that, okay, if, if you're saying something, I don't bully AJ. I just joke around with him. Okay, if, okay. If you're saying something, <laughs> to, you said if you say so. If you're saying something to be mean and hurt somebody's feelings, that's bullying. Well, yeah. to Shut hurt up. His feelings. If you're saying something to get a laugh, then you have to ask, who am I trying to get to laugh, and why? Yeah. Am I trying to get Brad to laugh at AJ because AJ said something dumb? be bullying am I trying to get AJ to laugh because he said something dumb well then it's not bullying because I'm trying to get you to laugh at your own dumb you know what I mean yeah like am I trying to get everybody else in the room to laugh at you because you tripped and fell is that bullying maybe depends on how you want to look at it yeah because like and it's it's like most comedians will say nowadays like a lot of comedians have gotten to where they're afraid to say anything yeah like I've heard of like comedians like comedians are like we won't perform on college campuses anymore because we say one joke and somebody pulls the fire alarm or we get booed off stage and people cancel like I remember this guy was like yeah I told a joke where I was like you know how I know being gay isn't a choice because nobody would choose to be black and gay Nobody would want that hard of a life. <laughs> and he got like he got kicked off stage for being racist. They canceled his show in the middle of it for saying that. Yeah. But like it was like three people that were actually upset about it. Right? In the crowd. And like he had people after he left coming up to him saying, "I can't believe that happened. I'm so sorry. I thought you were really funny. You were fucking killing it." But like these three people who were in charge of putting on the event was like, no, that's offensive and you can't say that. Yeah. Go Why away. do you sound like Trevor Noah right now? That's not what Trevor Noah sounds like at all. Like when he's mocking somebody. Oh. Well, probably actually, because I watched Trevor Noah. Well, actually, guys. what Brad sounds well, like whenever he talks... At least you got what I'm saying. Well, when Brad talks like that, he actually makes me think of one of Roger's 
uh, personas in American Dad where he's like from the fi- supposed to be like somebody from the fifties or something, and he talks like this and just like there's there's one episode where they're on the uh, they're on an airplane and everything he goes he goes black people get <laughs> black people poop in the pool they're like yo man check it out he goes white people poop in the pool they're like oh my I defecated in the uh, swimming receptacle <laughs> 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 uh, that's really funny that's I do funny. kind of sound like that don't I yeah. it's just my uh, persona I was just gonna say persona my, it's like my uh, go to go to like condescending hmm. of mocking of people who have different uh, ideals to <laughs> I guess I don't know. It's, just, it's one of the like three default voices that I have. Yeah. For making a joke. Well, yeah, like what we were saying on that too. That's like sarcasm. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's different ways of being sarcastic. No, like when, like, sarcasm. like when I'm sarcastic, you know I'm sarcastic because and I don't remember where I saw it at, but it was on YouTube. And well, it was like, like you people can, have a tell. You, you can, can have, tell. Yeah. But like uh, one of the big problems with. Uh, especially writing like we've gone over this before but like writing stuff mm. you know like a comment it's impossible to tell if those people are being sarcastic or if they're just stupid for real like I can read something and be like ah, that's pretty funny but that somebody else and like because I read it sarcastically but somebody else reads it and they take it seriously and like oh my god I can't believe you would say such a thing I did it again yeah that's so mean and offensive you son of a bitch <laughs> but you see what I'm saying when I say you sound like Trevor Noah yeah okay yeah like one of my favorite skits by uh, Pro Pro DZ or something like that is uh, Pro Z. It's like inter- it's like internet comments or whatever. Mm. And this guy's like, you know, I don't like this thing. And it's like, I like that thing. Oh, I don't remember. I like that thing. You son of a bitch. Some people happen to like that thing. You stupid asshole, cocksucking son of a bitch. Blah blah blah. <laughs> God, I hate him. But I do like this thing. I don't like that thing. I don't like that thing. Excuse me. <laughs> it's one of the funniest fucking bits. I remember. Seen. I remember what Love the it. video is that I saw that about the sarcasm thing, and they were talking about Brie Larson because mm. in some of her interviews, like she did, she did the you know the thing where they uh, where the Google question deal or whatever. It's like is you know so and so this, and then they pulled the thing yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've and seen she John Cena do those. And she funny. did that, and. uh and she goes, is is that like you know like the way she did it? Like you didn't know if she was being serious. Oh, like she or she was, said, is that a personal attack? Yeah, I didn't know that was her. Yeah, and I've I, heard people make that joke before, and I was like, I don't know who they're referencing, but it's really, like whenever they say it, it's really funny. Yeah, because like I was watching that, and I'm like, honestly, because the guy that was doing the video, he said most people who are sarcastic have a tell where you know they're joking, mm-hmm. and I'm like, yeah, like that's kind of how I am on <laughs> being sarcastic because it makes sense. Yeah, but like, I don't remember what question she read, and she's like, "Are you like attacking me? Is that a personal attack?" Is that, yeah, and I was, I was mean. Like, and I remember maybe, watching. It, I was like, "Maybe they are." Yeah, I was like, "I don't know if she's but being sarcastic." Maybe you being fucking serious. deserve it. You have fucking the last one. And it's like, it's like it's right Is there. That a personal it's, attack? <laughs> yeah, that was sarcasm. <laughs> and like right there, it's it's where it's like. Okay, so it's like there really is, there really are different versions of sarcasm. You can be super sarcastic and hurtful, or you can be sarcastic and well, some people and like other people, their tells are harder because they have a really dry, yeah, like, like Bati- sarcasm. Apparently, Batista is really dry, has a really dry like delivery on things, which yeah. makes a lot of sense actually. So sometimes it's hard to tell when somebody's making a joke. Like sometimes I listen to Nick and I'm like, "Are you dumb? I can't tell." <laughs> I know. <laughs> hard to tell sometimes even for and then himself. it turns out most of the time he is actually just dumb yep that's <laughs> how it goes some people are dumb uh, like, uh, like how every time he makes you laugh and you're like it's just you're so proud of that yes <laughs> literally that but I do it just because it's funny <laughs> to you and then the only parts that's funny to me is how proud you are how dumb <laughs> It's like, it's not the joke, it's the, eh? Yeah. Eh? That's what fucking gets me. Oh, is it a good for you? Is it as good as the food for me? Yeah. As good as the food for me? Was it as good as for you as it was for me? Oh, this reminds me, I was watching the Game Grumps yesterday, Mm -hmm. and Aaron has this bit called Joke Yoda, and it's like, after Yoda uh, quit from the force, he tried to become a comedian. (laughs) 
but he just tells like Star Wars jokes. <laughs> and he's like, hmm, I have a funny joke for you. And he's like, what is it? And he's like, uh, what did Luke say to uh, somebody when they he found out they were bullying his sister? And he's like, I don't know. You better not lay a finger on her. <laughs> <laughs> Funny joke! It's so <laughs> terrible. It was just a bunch of those back to back and just stupid puns like that. It was, <laughs> I was fucking dying. Oh, man. And he did a, they did another bit when they were playing Breath of the Wild with like the fish people. There's like a red fish guy. Yeah, he's uh. And they gave him like a surfer bro accent. You've seen the shirt that I have of him. Yeah, that guy. And uh. They're like. He, uh, they're talking about the statue of the girl, fish girl, and they're like, she rode his elven dick throughout the land, from the whatever seas to the mountains of whatever. And it's just fucking funny. Like, the stupid accent they gave. Those dudes are fucking hilarious. I love them. Yeah. My favorite I... video by them of all time is the Mickey Mouse Capade video, where they... They were gonna play Mickey Mouse Cafe, which is like this old N sixty or not N sixty four Super Nintendo or no fuck just a N- Nintendo game, right? Yeah. And they didn't know anything about it, so they looked up a video on it and they found this dude who was basically trying to be the angry video game nerd, right? Yeah. But like he even like copied the cadence of how he talks and stuff. So then Aaron started making fun of him, right? And they're like Mickey Mouse. What is this game? This is a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> he's like, two chairs? Why not three? And he's like, why do these chairs have legs? What are they in a hurry for? To get sat on? <laughs> this is game's a bunch of poopy ass dick farts covered in dick waffles being poured all over a fat woman's titty. <laughs> like going off, and it's the funniest fucking video I've ever seen in my life. And on that note, we'll catch you next time. On Jar Shack, the podcast that you just listened to, and we'll come back to listen to again when we make another one. Check out our other stuff that we do. I don't know what they are, but we do them. What? You don't know what they are? Sure. Where the fuck's my mouse? <laughs>